What's happening, y'all? Agus Fabrication and then Sub Pete here. How y'all doing out there? Uh, listen. It's Pete, baby. Your host with the most. Uh. <laughs> listen. I'm here today for a couple reasons. We're going to do us a video. I hope y'all enjoy the video. Uh, not just the video, though, but. Yeah, we're going to. Uh, we're going to have some fun with this. But first, I got something I want to show you guys. I didn't make a video of this, which I should have because it had to do with a lot of... A lot of what machinists have to do. As in filing, machining, shaping. Right? So, what we got here is we got us a bracket that I made. Right? This piece is actually a foot. This unscrews here. This is for a couch. A cheap couch. This looks to me... Now tell me, am I lying or not, right? Doesn't this look like a bracket to a life fixture? Ain't that what that looks like, right? Am I lying? Like, this is where the, the middle... the that. Remember that piece that I put? If y'all watched the video on me making the uh, the torch, the piece that I made that screws down on and that I put inside with the screws, that's this. They just tack welded it, spot welded it onto this. So, when it was on the couch, they sat on it and it kind of bent up. So, what I did was I put it in the vise and bent it back straight. And I'm going to do a little better before I give it back to them. I want There's some curves in it. So, I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it on the anvil. And I'm going to smack it with the hammer a couple times and make it flat. And bring that all out of there. But, what I did was I made a bracket out of aluminum to match. All right. And what it does is, this slides down into it, just like that, All right? And what you got, what you get is this. All right? So now when they put it on, they're not just screwing into this, the thin sheet metal. They're, throw, they're, they're also screwing into that thick piece of aluminum. I could have did it out of steel, and if he has a problem, I will redo it out of steel. But I'm thinking this thick piece of aluminum will well will, will work well work. Uh, I think it'll do the trick because it's thick. It's not it's not like it's thin, and I think that'll give it the stability that it needs. You know what I'm saying? I think so. Um, we'll we will see. I will stand corrected if it had if if it does break again. I don't. I mean, I gotta see somebody doing something crazy for it to break again. So I'm just saying. But there we go. Well, Matt, I hope it works out, buddy. I hope this. I hope this works out well for your couch. Ah. Uh, that's what we do, man. Listen, that's why I got this shop. When people tell me something wrong, man, let me see that. I think I could fix that for you, bro. Let me get that and I'll bring it back in a couple days. I've had it for a week now. I didn't come down here a couple days because it was cold. The one day I did come down here and work on it, it was cold. I didn't even think about making a video, dude. Like, I just did it. You know what I'm saying? Give me a second. You know something, let me tell y'all something as we walk over here, right? I have a really stupid time with this. I'll be doing stuff that make would make really good content, and I never shoot the content. I don't understand why I get so dumbfounded like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm over here on the anvil right now, beating on this metal, shaping it back in place, right? And that, make good, that makes for good content. Why wouldn't I be over here shooting a video right now? That's just dumbfounded to me, right? Man... All right, so look, I'm over here at the anvil right now, and what I'm doing is I'm getting them waves out of the metal, right? Because them waves in the metal give it potential to bend again, right? That's how I look at it. 
But if you straighten it back out and bring it back into the to the dimension that it was in originally, you give it a little bit of strength. All right. So use that anvil for the flatness. And get it out of there. Get them leaves out. Use that back end of that, that anvil, right? That back end. Let's make sure that that ain't on there, right? Yep, see that? Lay it flat and beat it the other way now. Alright, flip it over. Do the same thing. That's what we wanted, right? Now, now I think we've corrected the problem, the error in it, <laughs> right? So now, and that's what I did. I filed this up to take them sharp edges off of it, right? As a matter of fact, you know what? I got a little bit more filing I need to do to this too. Yeah. All right, we're over here at the bench now. We're gonna do a little bit of filing on the um, device. And we got a set of soft jaws, and what we need to fix is some of our holes are not correct. So, we're going to get our nice files out, right? Get your files out. I don't have, I got to get some chalk. I don't have any chalk right now. Got to get some chalk for sure. Make sure your files are as clean as they can be without any chalk. But you want to set your piece up, right? These are from the uh, the ER32 square and octagon collets. I got. Oh no, I don't want to lose that. Stop it. That's better.
Oh yeah, look at that. Much better, right? Much, much better. I want to do a little bit of shaping on the top here. Show you how I do shaping there. I don't know if any if you guys are familiar with filing, but uh filing is it's a very sacred art with machinists. It is an art. It is an it is a art. It is sculpting metal. Right? You're sculpting metal to the shape. You're manipulating it and manipulating it to the shape that you want it to be. Now, make sure you got yourself some good files for stuff like this. I try to keep a, a nice good file or two. And always go in motion, right? Nice edge on it, right? Knock that edge off. If you feel an edge on something, knock it off. Don't leave an edge on it. It's just aluminum. That edge will knock right off with one swift move, right? So how we look at that, right? We look at it. Are you happy with that shape? Right? And I think we're happy with it. Atkins fabrication. This is part of fabricating. Might be small, might be minute to some people, but I want to tell you guys that that having that don't have too much experience at any of this stuff. Uh, mind you, I have experience at a lot of things that I do here, right? I have experience at machine operating. I'm learning to be a machinist now where I create on my own from my own mind. I'm learn I'm I'm working on learning the the technicality the technicality or uh the technical the technical aspect of this. I want to learn the technical side of it. The uh whew. Bro, let me tell you what, the mathematics in this can get hectic. So but I love this. And if you want it, you can get it. Just remember that. If you want it, you can get it. See that? I don't like it there. I'm not happy with that. I'm really not. Now it fall out on me. Awesome. Right in the video. Perfect, huh? Perfect. <laughs> Get over here. All right, let's see here. It's not squared right there. Let's put this up here real quick, right? Oh, oh, oh don't leave the fingers in there, Peter. Don't you leave your fingers in there, Peter. And loosen them back up a bit. Let's adjust. I'm going to be straight there, Peter.
Let's see what it looks like now. Squirt. See, that's what I'm, a little work, a little tender love and care goes a long way. We're 16 minutes into this video, Aki's Fabrication and then some, all the small things count, just remember that, just remember that, right? Walk with me, we're going to the machine, I got to show you what I got for you. Aki's Fabrication, here we are. What do y'all think about that piece of balloon? Does that trigger you? What about when it does that, huh? Does that get you? What, what, what? It's like, no. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're going to turn just a bit of this round. Alright. We're going to leave this part square 100%. We're going to leave this here. Put this part here. We're going to turn around.
almost there, y'all. Look at that. Almost there. You see that? Don't look bad. <laughs> Thank you. 
little left. <laughs> See if we can get another 10 speed out of it, huh? Let's see. You know the problem. We can't put the square back on the round. At least not the same size. But we can square it off again. It'd just be smaller. Huh? Interesting, isn't it? Agnes Fabrication and then some. Hey, thanks for watching, y'all. That's 30 minutes. I love y'all. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Right? If you want to support the channel more than that, you know what to do, baby. I really appreciate you. We love you over here. If there's anything y'all ever need, anything you need fixed, hey, that's participation. That's a video. That is more support than anything. Hitting that subscribe button is awesome of you. Amazing. Thank you so much. And from the bottom of my heart, from here, from Atkins Fabrication and then some, I hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving. A happy Halloween. A happy Thanksgiving. And we are now in December 2nd. Christmas is coming up. For all my addicts that are out on the street, I pray that you find a place to go for the holiday. And that God blesses you. I hope he blesses you to find you. I keep finding me every day. So, with that being said, thanks for watching. Uh, man, guys are awesome, yo. I really, really appreciate y'all. I don't even want to get off here with y'all. Unless they keep making the video. I should have did a live of this. Yeah, there's that piece right there. Uh, yeah. Uh, Agus Fabrication and then some. We love you over here, baby. Stop on down anytime y'all want to. Holler at your boy. Thanks for watching. Just remember. We're just having fun, you know. We're just having fun. Have fun. Do not allow what you do to get the best of you to where you lose focus of what you do. Have fun. Atkins Fabrication and some. I love y'all, man. Thank you. I'm out.